A war photographer, or somebody who used to be a war photographer. Jonathan Hoyle. Yeah. Having a final look around, Mr. Hoyle. Kind of. Yeah. Why don't you kind of get this slightly apart at the end, so we see a little bit more of that, okay. the eye and the face. Yeah. I guess he'd been hit by a stray bullet and managed to drag himself into the yard. Coming in, you come back a bit, and then it's out. Well, you could, originally, you had it like that, and you opened it up. Yeah, that's better, Pete. Okay. Do you mind sending my catalogue? Sure. <laughs> and this photograph becomes a kind of symbol of conflict all over the world. It's such a powerful picture. So moving. Great. Cap. Good evening. He's confronted by the father of the subject of this photograph. I play the character of Nabil, a Palestinian whose son has been killed. This is the extra beat. We were expecting him, as before, to shoot him. How about we go? Yeah. Yeah. Pause, we were waiting for it, and then you go... Dan, if you please. Yeah, that would be nice. Nice beat. Yeah. My friend here, he, he knows about the pain. The right tool, the right job. OK, here we go. Now, Sam, just looking at the light out here. I was very moved and excited by this script. And action. I'm sorry. You're funny! It's the nuanced moral dilemma. Why did you stop? I mean, your photographs are all about the truth. They start off with the best motives in the world. The photographs are going to change everything and put an end to war and so on, but of course they don't. Oh, he wasn't just a photograph. He was your son. Enough of this bullshit. Kill him. Right. What's interesting about this film is technically correct. Mice is lit exclusively by candles. It's not. 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 It's your photographs deepen our pain. I like films which bring up new moral issues I haven't thought about. Do you want me to turn the other way? You Thank you very much. You'll shoot me, go ahead. All in good time, Mr. Oil. In good time. Come, great.